Well, because one of the other things that we didn't point out here is that almost all these surgeries overseas are cash up front. There is no insurance coverage for this stuff overseas, correct? As far as I know. I mean, it depends on where you're going, but uh, if you have a complication overseas and you're not covered by your insurance in that country, then you might have a, you know, a real severe problem with getting that complication taken care of. So you may go over, pay cash for a surgery, and then all of a sudden wind up at a hotel with a 107 degree temperature, go to a hospital, correct it, and the next thing you know, your insurance isn't covering that too. So now you got two bills. That may be the case. You sit on an accreditation board. Would you recommend, if I said to you, my Aunt Betty called me last week and said, dude, I want to get some lipo, but I can't afford it. I saw something on TV, Montel, and it said if I go to India right now, geez, I could jump in there, put me up in a five-star hotel, I'm going to get served, you know, little pom-pom drinks, and I'm going to have my surgery and be happy. So can I go? What should I sell her? Well, Montel, you made a comment earlier. There are fine doctors all over the world. But we have the best health care system the world's ever known as far as capable surgeons. And the quality of your surgery and result is only as good as the surgeon who provides the care. So since we have some of the best trained surgeons in the world and you're starting in this country, I think you're better off checking things out here first. And then, you know, if you can't find what you need, maybe look elsewhere. Let me ask you a question. Is this also, though, is there a message being sent to the American health system? If you know, so many people are running outside of the United States to find a better price. Isn't there some way that maybe we can start talking to doctors here to lower the price of procedures that have become almost as second nature, and I'll we'll say it this way, as things like circumcision? Well, one of the problems is you're, you're showing an example of it. When you have standards to uphold, operating room standards, if you come to an outpatient facility that's accredited, it's like a little hospital. The costs of providing that care, the nursing care, the anesthesiologist who's board certified, the equipment, the supplies, implants alone, the silicone implants that we use when we use them are $1,700 a pair in this country. So you're getting a type of quality and quality control that doesn't exist elsewhere. She had implants put in her that were in another patient. That's unheard of in this country. So it's, it's, it's more than buyer beware, there's a reason and it's not just in healthcare, it's in anything. There are other industries where the regulations and the standards push up the price of the, the product that's produced. Gotcha. All right, so, Doc, Allison, she's still thinking about going to South Africa, having some procedures <laughs> done. Can't you talk her out of this for me? Well, I, you know, I, I don't know how she researched this problem, and she may be going to an excellent surgeon, and, uh, you know, if, if that's the case, that's fine. But if you're not really fully aware of who the surgeon is and all of the things surrounding it. If it's saving you $2,000, that can be a very expensive $2,000 somewhere down the line. And I, I gotta say, the $2,000, and, and Carla, I hate to, I'm, I don't, I'm not throwing this out as a punchline, but the truth of the matter is that $2,000 you're saving could cost you your life. And mine cost me $110,000. In surgeries. After, we're gonna take a break, we'll be back right after this. I'm torn. I, I really am torn. Is there? Then this show, I don't know whether or not I should say don't go overseas or do, but I will say that it's our responsibility to ensure that we do the best we can in looking into our own medical care. We're responsible for our own medical care, so if you're going to go overseas someplace, I'm telling you, you need to research this way beyond anything that you would ever consider researching here in the United States. I'd find out whether or not I could find a doctor. I want to know where the doctor went to college at. I want to make sure that the, the records that he sent me were, were real and valid. I want to see the facility. I don't want to get on a plane and see the facility. Send me pictures. Let me do a, an internet search and look around and see. Just do as much as you can because Jonathan had great results. Great results. No question. These two ladies didn't. And there are untold story after untold story after untold story of people coming into California right now having to be repaired. So I say it's not just buyer beware. Like you said, Doc, I'm telling you, it's a difference between saving two grand or giving up my life. I'm going to spend the two grand. That's what I'm doing. I don't know about you guys. Got a similar story? Contact us on our website, montelshow.com. Join us on the next Montel.